everyone, it's Radhika again, and in this video I'm going to be reading my Duke supplemental essays, and I'm super excited for these. I really enjoyed writing the Duke essays. I just enjoyed writing um, all of my college essays in general. Um, I mean, I guess it was like, it was enjoyable for the most part. I think the only part that's not enjoyable is when you get stuck, but then once you kind of like get into a phase where you're like writing a whole bunch of essays, it becomes really easy and it becomes fun honestly to like answer these different questions and talk about some of your different interests and things like that so i have duke here with me and i'm gonna go ahead and read these supplemental essays um for those of you who haven't watched my other videos um i read my common application essay in a previous video and also my stanford supplemental essays which is where i'll be attending this fall but i'm also making other videos where i'm just reading all my college supplemental essays in general and so this is for duke and so i hope you guys enjoy go ahead and subscribe down below if you like these college essay videos and go ahead and leave comments or um dm me on instagram at rad underscore shaw if you have any other video ideas and i'm super open i'm just kind of starting this channel but i really want to create content for you guys that all of you will like and yeah just let me know and i'll go ahead and get into these supplemental essays so the first one um, oh, on the actual supplemental like essay form that I printed out from my application, it doesn't have like the exact prompts word for word, but you'll get the idea. So the first one was like something along the lines of something particular about Duke that attracts you. I haven't come across another school like Duke with unique interdisciplinary academic offerings in child policy research and civic engagement and social service. These specialized certificate programs are right up my alley and are exactly what I hope to study in college. During middle school, I had the opportunity to volunteer in special education classrooms, and I learned the value of peer-to-peer -peer interaction in academic environments. In high school, I implemented an elective that would allow students to develop relationships with children in special education classes, all the while obtaining high school credit. It sparked my interest in education and policy change. Duke's unique child policy research program would allow me to explore interdisciplinary areas like education, health, cognitive science, and the context of human development. Additionally, I would like to eventually facilitate the expansion of my nonprofit organization, RAD, and make it a national initiative. Duke's specialized certificate program in civic engagement and social change would allow me to participate in community-based experiences that align with my passion. Additionally, I value the fact that Duke offers extensive undergraduate opportunities, including community programs like the Keenan Institute for Ethics, the Heart Leadership Program, and unique research opportunities through the Social Science Research Institute. It is clear that in addition to emphasis on intellectual pursuits, Duke believes in facilitating growth for leaders, educating the whole person, and extending these implications to a multitude of interdisciplinary issues beyond a classroom setting. I share those very same values. Duke is a perfect fit. And so as you can see, if you watched my previous videos, I definitely have like repurposed different components, my other essays to kind of combine it into this one essay for Duke specifically. I did talk about specific programs that Duke offers. Um, and so again, I hope you guys are just using these videos for inspiration or just if you're curious in general, just to, you know, really learn that, well, I just like, I, I mean, everyone has different approaches in writing these essays, but I do think it is important to do a little bit of research on the school that you're applying to and talk about specifics. I mean, you don't need to like get, go crazy with it and be like this specific class and this specific professor and I, you can you can um i you don't need to because i did it um and and you know i think everyone just kind of has their own path uh when writing these essays but i do think it's important to like look up some of the things that you would participate in at a particular school like duke especially because duke on the actual application when you apply they're like we have all these programs what would you be interested in so i think it's good to always you know talk about that in your essays all right, the next one is share a perspective response. And I think the prompt, and you guys can look up the prompts too, but I think it was like something along the line of like, you know, we value um, a, a, a diverse student body, share a, share like a diverse perspective that you've had or something that shaped your perspective. And so again, I talked about Las Vegas and I talked about how Las Vegas shaped my perspective on the value of community. And so that is kind of what this essay is, is saying. And so the essay is, a job interviewer in Las Vegas warned my mom that the city wasn't a suitable environment for raising children. Well, that's where I'm from and I love it. Despite the stigma associated with Las Vegas, I belong to one of the most close knit wholesome communities, something that's become an integral part of me. I remember being a 13 year old girl who witnessed a need for special education reform and services for families affected by autism. 
Little did I know I would eventually have the privilege of becoming part of a blossoming movement for this cause in Southern Nevada. Las Vegas is the perfect mix of the big small town, which gives me the benefits of a small suburb, engaging in meaningful conversations about my family, community, and values with the teachers and friends I run into at the grocery store. Nonetheless, Las Vegas is a big city that allows me to meet with the research director at a local university about nonprofit expansion or to visit the director of the Ackerman Autism Center to discuss service. It's a place where I've had the opportunity to partake in discussions with leaders like Congressman Horsford on autism legislation and Governor Sisolak about RAD. Las Vegas, even with all its dynamic, quirky features, gave me the opportunities and support to build a home and a passion. I love community, something much larger than any single individual. As such, I seek out places that also share my perspective on the value of community. So I, I in that like last sentence, I said, I seek out places that also share my perspective on the value of community because the entire essay was talking about Vegas and like I wanted to make sure I'm really emphasizing the point that this is like, no, like what I'm trying to say is I value community. That's the perspective that I'm trying to share. So I really did try to tie in with that last sentence, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's helpful to just like hear these different supplemental essays. I really do. Honestly, when I was applying um, to different colleges and schools, I looked up these videos all the time of people sharing their supplemental essays because I thought it was super helpful just for inspiration purposes, just to hear about other people's stories and experiences because of course, everyone's college application is super unique, um, super different and super fun. But I'm just putting these out there in the world. I hope some of you guys are benefiting from this. I really, really do. And thank you all so much for watching. And again, go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you're interested in following my Instagram, that's at rad underscore Shaw. And again, thank you all for watching and I'll talk to all of you soon.